All right, for this lesson, what we're going to do is we are going to make a spreadsheet for classroom attendance. Now, this would be paper attendance, and basically it's going to look like what most of you printed out when you um, ran a report in progress book. Um, but here's how to do it in um, whatever this thing's called. So what we're going to do is we're going to click reports. We're going to go down to student roster. Now notice here, this is the class that I want to make. This is the title for that class. Um, so in this case, I would be going to, uh, it says period nine, but this is going to be period five. Now here where it says select classes, um, it looks like you could add more to it. So if you wanted to group, if you had group classes, you could add them this way. So if you had um, this class along with, you know, one of these other groups, you would click this, it'll put them all together. However, if you don't want them all as one big group, you have to do them as each separate class. Um, as far as I can tell, I haven't found another way to do it. Now, the really confusing part is to get more of the columns. All we're going to do is go where it says student columns, add columns. And basically, you're going to click add where it says blank here. And if you click 10 times, that'd be two weeks. If you want more than two weeks, click more than that. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should give me those blanks. We're going to run the report. And then it didn't do anything for us here. We have to go back to reports, go down to the report queue. And here you can see where I ran all my other reports so far. Here's the one we just did, period five. Now, when I click that, it downloads it here as a PDF. And there you can see I have a printable um, attendance roster. So again, all I'd have to do is print this. And the convenient thing is also once that queue is done, from what I can tell, uh, you would not have to do that again. So every time you want to print it, uh, you would simply go back into where the report queue is. Now, if you have something that you messed up, obviously you just delete, run it again. That's it.